I'm Jackson Parley here with 34th Street, and today we're here with Veronica Fenton, um, who runs the business Kate by Vron um, uh, here in her apartment on Penn's campus. Hi everyone, it's an honor to be here on the street. <laughs> yeah, so today we are going to be baking a cake with Veronica, 34th Street themed cake. Um, what is in the cake? Um, so this is a cookie dough cake. It's a three layered vanilla cake with two layers of cookie dough uh, filling in it. Um, it is a vanilla buttercream and it has a chocolate accent icing and a chocolate ganache drip. And then we're putting um, like teal 34th street themed fondant on the top. That sounds delicious. I am so excited. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I really got into like professional style baking, I guess, um, the summer before I came to Penn, actually. Um, I was working at a commercial bakery, um, which is actually the storefront in um, Center City at the moment. It's called Classic Cake. And I was the head chef's um, apprentice. And I worked there for about like five months. And that's like, I guess, where I learned the tricks of the trade. I did every single thing in that bakery, um, actually, except for right on birthday cakes, which is ironic. So, like last semester, um, I'd like to be a fashion designer when I'm older. I um, went and I saw Stuart Weissman, um, who's an amazing shoe designer, come and speak. And it was amazing because, like, it's literally like seeing like exactly what you want to be like talking to you and like there to give you advices and stuff like that. And I know this is like such like a plug for Penn, but it's true. The alumni network is unbelievable. Um, so like I didn't think I could get luckier than like having seen Stuart Weissman who's so lovely. Um, and then I got super lucky because I got to see um, Seth Berkowitz like does my other love baking right. um, speak to, and it was great. Um, and actually, like, I got to ask him a question. Personally, I went up and I asked him about, like, an allergy thing within the baking biz. Um, actually, over spring break, so, like, this exact time last year, um, one of my mom's friends texted me. I, like, I don't know how she got my number. Um, and she was like, hey, Veronica, so one of my movie producer friends, honestly, like, I strive to be able to say yeah, that say sentence, that, yeah. <laughs> um, was just talking to me and they're doing a new Chopped College on the Food Network, you should definitely apply for it. And I was like, oh my god, that would be so awesome. Um, I finished the application, I literally submitted it at like 11.59. Um, one of the producers of Chopped called me while I was home on break and she asked me, uh, she said they liked my application. Um, they wanted to interview me, so um, she told me that for the interview, I needed to take headshots. I needed to make a video saying why I would win Chopped College. I get all those uh, photos done, stuff like that, and then they interviewed me, and it was really intense. It was over FaceTime, and um, they like asked me like what my training was, where I went to and stuff like that and then the producer said um, well you're doing really well now we just need some sound bites for you which I'm gonna submit to the producers when I like um, pitch you for the show and I was like oh okay so he was like I'm gonna feed you a line and I just want you to say it and this would be the type of line that we would put like in the commercial of you like mm -hmm. if you were to make it onto the show and I was like oh okay cool so mind you like I said this was chopped college and like pen like we ha kind of have a reputation of being like a snobby, like preppy, like Ivy League school. So I could clearly see where the producer was going on that front. He wanted me to be like the Ivy League villain. Um, he literally pitched me a line to say like, he was like, look straight at the camera and say, I beat you with my SAT scores. I'm gonna beat you again in the chopped kitchen. And I was like, wow. <laughs> Wow. So anyway, I fit, like, what am I going to do? I said it. Yeah. Like, I said it. Um, and um, after the interview, I come downstairs, and um, my mom and brother asked me how I did. And I said, well, I think I did well, except if I get on the show, all of America is going to hate me. Um, and then, unfortunately, <laughs> I ended up getting chopped. <laughs> I did not. I made it to the final round, but I didn't actually get onto the show. Oh. But, um, yeah, that was... It was funny, I remember saying to my mom um, the day before I was coming back for, um, from spring break, I said to my mom, so <laughs> I thought I would spend all of spring break relaxing. Instead, I spent it applying to Chuck. You can always find me, first of all, 
by talking to me if you find like my number or something like that. <laughs> Except for the people that don't know me uh, or don't know me yet. Um, on my Instagram, um, it's Caked by Biron. Um, and then you'll see right in the bio, it has the ordeal that I've just talked about. And then also there's an email. It's veronica.fenton at awol.com. And you can just email me any orders. Um, I just need like a week prior to know. If you ever see um, a cake on like Buzzfeed or something like that that you really like, sure. I'm happy to take a whack at it. Like, oh my gosh. let me know. Thank you so much. This Thank you so amazing. much. Amazing. Can't beautiful. wait for you to eat it. The icing was delicious. Can't <laughs> wait to dig in. Yeah. Okay.